Hey guys, and all welcome back to Rebellion Simulator with me, NG Paradox. <laughs> yes, we keep fighting a lot of rebellions. Mela, you know, he's just not been able to control the lands as well as his father. Um, they just don't respect him in the same way. Is it just because of him? Or is it just going to be quite difficult to the different, you know, cultures and religions and stuff? It's hard to say. Um, it stopped him, though, from trying to do the things he wants to do. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, if we put this rebellion down, he's still, you know, he's still quite young. He still has a lot of time. He needs to put this rebellion down, though, as soon as possible. Um, had something happen to us? Um, I accept your gracious invitation. Ares Targaryen has come to our court. Thank you, Mr. Targaryen. As well as his wife, Nerys Targaryen. We need both of you and your dragons. It's extremely important. Extremely important right now. Um, dragons versus dragons. I probably should put them as commanders. We've lost a lot of dragons over these, over these parts. Because of just the dragon wars. And because there's lots of Targaryens, it's probably going to be trouble for quite a long time. There's always going to be that threat that any dragon rider can just, you know... Jump up and attack whoever they want. Here we go. I'm going to send them husband and wife together. Look at matching masks as well. Shall I go? I feel Mela because he's a craven. He he doesn't want to. Go. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. Who's our best fighter? Grilio. Okay, you go, Grilio. I feel like Emperor's like, okay, yeah, you guys go. You go. You go deal with it. This is a Targaryen, you know. This man is a Targaryen. Your Targaryens. This is something that you need to fix. You know, he's a young boy, the Targaryens. You need to go fix this problem. So he's sending them off. Can they do it? My wife has died. <sighs> she died fighting for her husband. Well, that's why I married her. <laughs> that's why That's why he married her. And we have her egg. <gasps> My son, we have you a dragon egg. Congratulations. There you go. As is now of Aurelius tradition, you have young Damien sleep in his bed with his new dragon egg. If a dragon is hatched, it will be a sign that the child is indeed a true Varese's. Your wife has died. Did she deserve on a funeral? A small private funeral. And we got her egg, of course. But now my son has that egg. My prisoners come out of dark cell. Let them rot. News from Dragonstone. <gasps> Damien, you little scallywag, you did it straight away. Fajirion. This is the baby of Valax. Okay. Nothing special about this dragon, but you know, that's good for my son. It proves that, you know, he's a he's a good young high Valerian, skilled fighter as well. If only you could get a formidable fighter, you'd be perfect, my son. Well not I mean he'd be a perfect warrior, you know, dragon rider. He might have, you know, um, you know, Dragon Rider and Familiar Fighter, it would show he's just amazing. Now, we need to go defeat our enemies. Can we just keep them there? I guess we could take these lands for now. Um, but let's go back. This combat is going to be the big thing. Nerys Targaryen is currently under my control. It's not her fault. No, she's helping us right now. It's not his fault. They're actually helping me. My wife, Lisa, has grown old and less than attractive. Maybe a young mistress will bring some excitement into my life. Yeah, I, I think you'd do that. I have a dragon egg? Wait, wait, did I just get... Huh. Oh, I thought the event was saying I got the dragon egg from her. Did I just get another dragon egg as well? Interesting. Huh. Brother. I could grant you a dragon egg. And that could cause problems. But who else am I going to give this egg to? My wife? Could do. Um, my sister's... Yeah, let's give him the egg. Brother to Kerry's. Here you go. Non-aggression pact. Doubt he won't accept. Yeah, here you go. we got to give it to someone. Congratulations, brother. Here you go. Take that on for you. You know, if I if I have another kid or he has some kids, you know, my own son, they can obviously just tame my dragon. Um, so it's not a big deal. And my dragon is nimble. So it's a pretty cool dragon. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm sure my wife will allow me to indulge myself. Not find out. No adulteries. I think he'll do that. I'm sure my wife will allow me. She responded to my advances and soon we were engaging in a very stimulating activity. In short, the lovemaking was amazing. Oh, wait, wait. I thought she said, allow me. 
Okay, Lisa had noticed how I'd started looking at the other women at court, and the whispers about me flirting with the beautiful ladies at court made her draw some conclusions she obviously did not appreciate. I was yelled at for hours, or so it felt, about the sinfulness of adultery and why you don't think I'm attractive anymore. Okay, okay, so she had a go at me, and so then that, that kind of anger we kind of had, you know, like, uh, how, should, how should I put this, like, an angry sex, I guess, and we kind of found that romance again. Yeah. <laughs> With my sister. Ugh. Okay, I, I we'll give a quick fun of a marriage. Let's see what else, though, is if you wanted to get married. You know, we wanted to be, you know, sort of Valerian, of course. Um, at least. So see. Anyone else? There's some strong ones there. Some strong young girls. Um, nothing that really jumps out. I mean, no sort of Targaryen girl or something like that. Which probably would be quite nice. Our Storm Singer is not doing anything. This guy's much better. Okay, you go convert. Oh, yeah, because the lands have been changed. We'll wait till the war's over then, yeah. Wait till the war's over. Okay, here we go. Oh! Why is he now leading it? Are you kidding? They changed it. Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, that's annoying. But at least one of them was there. News from Volantis, Your Imperial Majesty. During the war in Valyria, the dragon rider Jacob Targaryen, rider of Daenerion, and Ares Targaryen, rider of Jessax, met in fierce combat. Targaryen versus Targaryen. Driving their dragons to tear each other relentlessly, Ares and Jezax prevailed, killing Daenerion. There we go. You go, Ares. What a badass. Jezax, you know, lunatic, rough, nimble, strong, and beautiful. It's like a perfect dragon, but it's crazy. <laughs> was able to kill Daenerion. And Daenerion was a stronger dragon, even when it was, ma even when it was maimed. So that's pretty good. That was pretty impressive. What happened to the leader? And Jaka Targaryen, he lost his hand during the fight and was killed by Ares in an epic dragon duel. What a dance that must have been. So it looks as though that worked out in the end. We got Lena Valyrian in my court. Okay. Viserys Targaryen's come to my court. Jaka Targaryen, who's dead, came to my court. And there we go. Okay, I think that went out quite well, actually. And with that, where would we need to go now? Lots of enemies. Who to deal with? Attacking. Yeah, we might as well go siege this down. Go dragons, go over there, take that down. You guys are taking this. Just get in war score as we can, attacking our enemies. Meyer is not involved right now. And what is this? A white piece. Huh. It's See, the thing is, we would definitely win with the dragons that we have and stuff. It just, it's going to take so long. You know, this war is just going to take forever. And that's really the only pro I can't believe Balerion's dead. <laughs> Samuel Cold. I still can't. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm... This will be a long war, and do we really want that? We've had enough of rebellions, and I feel like we need to accept. They've seen the error of their ways. He's going to accept. He's tired of these stupid wars over nothing. So let's do that. And we have one left. A slave raid on which isle now? It's all the way up here. 68%. I don't think we have to deal with that probably either. We could probably leave and it will deal with itself. The wars being of great powers are over until the next time. There we go. The war has ended. Reappoint the old council. We're going to try and make things just back to normal. You know, Mela just wants people to forget the war that happened. He goes, just remember the glory of the defeat of that dragon rider. That is what you must remember. And so everyone seeing that epic duel, they decided to add white peace. They thought, we can't take this on. And so we have Mela's going to try and... Uh, He's not going to forget, but he wants things to just try and go back to normal as quickly as possible. Just so people feel like, you know, we can actually move on. Do something else rather than rebel all the time. The proof that Paramount Jacaris has basically been slandering me. Hmm. I am a cruel man. Yeah. 
Stays out of factions. Is he in a faction? At the moment, he's not. We'll ask him. To, yeah, we'll get him to stay out of faction just in case. There's no reason to arrest him. He laughed at the evidence, flat out refusing to stop meddling in political factionalism. He will live to regret this. So, my own brother just... I gave you a dragon egg, my damn brother. I gave you your lands that you have now. Everyone's against me all the time. Ugh. Okay, let's delete them. And we got Fringe of Met. Are these the special event troops? No. From Vassals. I thought we said some special event troops, maybe, or something. No, these are. These are special events. We've even got 300 men, I think, from uh, the old Dragon Warriors. Now, where are the rest of the men? There should be 2,000 somewhere. Oh, yeah, they're over here, aren't they? Yes. I always forget about you guys. Yes, we see there. Special event troops. So now with that over, Mela can look to the future. My vassal requested that Lady Bethany Waxley should be sworn to him directly well yeah he can have a vassal for a favor yeah we'll let him have that he can have most of the, the people the people in kind of westeros can kind of been his kind of things to deal with i think when your vassal can be discussed from social factions blackmail and that's what mailer would do he's a blackmailer type of guy court physician do not speak to me about obligations so, see we're just making everything worse he keeps trying to get people to do what he says. He, no one listens to him. He just makes things worse. Ugh. High Lush with the hills of Asaria. High Lush with the pass. Okay, so none of those are particularly what we want. The question is, though, what are we going to do here? We've got Dawn in... Dawn in the Stepstones. Don't like the way they keep expanding here in, Dawn, in uh, the Stepstones. I feel like they're getting in my way. They're part of the Iron Isles. Interesting one. Okay. We're going to continue, though, over here. Because that's what we should be doing. What's going on in Asaria? Slave raid. That might take them a while. I should probably just declare war on Marine, Yunkai, Aspor, New Gis, all at the same time. You would like to get married. Your wife is in jail by Bravos. You have a secondary wife, but you'd like another one. Fine. I accept. You can have as many wives as you want. You know, we like you. You're one of the only you're one of the few people we actually like in the entire realm. Mela doesn't have many friends. Just uh just our dragon nightwind. Who still is only twenty four. Still only twenty four. All these pop ups. Okay, it's turning cold. Seventy seven thousand, we've got those two dragons. So I feel like we should just go on the assault. Declare war. Going against, yeah. I f oh, going against the council. The council doesn't want to go to war? What is going on? Four voters were for, six were against. What an insane, ridiculous group of people. Dirt, what a fuzzin. It's returning a favor to Quava the Troubadour. Why is she always getting in the way of everything? I'm going to have to get rid of her. She keeps getting in the way and meddling with stuff. That's it. Let's get this guy involved. Okay. There we go. There we go. So getting rid of her has now allowed for us to declare war. We'll take them all down at the same time. I will finish what we started. This time we'll do it properly. So war will come. Yunkai. Declare war. Dragon conquest of Yunkai. Send. You guys, you don't need to join the coalition. You don't need to join the coalition to stop me because I'm just going to... Ooh, they won't support this one. Why, why, why? Empty seats. Okay, we should probably fill those seats. Chief General. Ares Targaryen. You know what? You've proven yourself, Targaryen. We can do that. Minor titles. My council. High Admiral. Lorath, or let's go for this. There we go. Okay. Declare war. They still won't. Hmm. What seat is that one? He's owing a favor right now. The Lord Treasurer. I don't like him. 
then again, he is the best at what he's doing. Ugh. Right, how about New Gis? Would they want to go to war with New Gis? They would not either. Who are you doing this for? I'm trying to favor to Lord Megan the Unchaste. Really, Mr. Targaryen? You're really going against me here? Lord Wickedom Advisor. Where is he? Megan. Fire Counselor. Why is... Oh, he's got both. That's why. Well, he hates me anyway, so yeah. Fire Chancellor. You shouldn't be an advisor anyway. Um, I'll get you from the other one. There we go. So two advisor slots now. We'll go for this guy. And we'll go for... Who likes me? Opinion. Okay. Not many people like us. Um... Uh, this guy, this pirate Valentine, he can be on the council as well. No one likes it, of course. Let's see now, then. Ah, oh, this still won't. None of the new people I brought in will support this. Too many wars, I guess they feel like. You know what? Mela does not care. Yeah, we're going to do it. He doesn't care. He does not care. I am going to war. See, this is just this is just Mela. Mela is an ambitious crew man. He's had enough. He's like, we've had all these damn rebellions. I will get what I want. I don't care what the council thinks. Maybe I should destroy the council. It's ne they'll never agree to destroy the council because one thing none of them like me anyway. Diplomacy. Council consideration. Ah, eh, council consideration. Rule of diplomatic sovereignty, okay. They shouldn't honor their obligation. Okay, a lot of people didn't answer. I'll honor my obligation. Of course, we can always rely on the Reneros family. Of course, my brother will join us. Ooh, even Will Skarhazadan. They will also. I guess because he believes in Valerian now. He's kind of uh, given completely over to our ideals, which is kind of cool to see. But a lot of them will not join me. We've got 3,000. Are you kidding me? Only 3,000 men. And we have dragons, so it's fine. Not on the obligations. Just going to have to make do with the men that we have. Oh, there we go. 30,000. Okay. I guess we're just waiting for that thing to do its pop-up. Lord Treasurer. We have a Lord Treasurer. Okay, they're not doing anything. That's why. Uh, can you train children? 15%. Um, appeal just to sir. You need to get people to like me. Yeah, improve relations right now. We need to get this guy to do construction. That was it. Uh, Anagaria. I think this guy can do it as well. Um, I think I said that before, though. I always say that. Pass by province, like that. Improve holding. I don't think it's that. That's for actually improving, yeah. Um... Okay, click that one by accident, and then it can't let you change. Okay, fine, whatever. That one's done, that one's done. Okay, good. And this guy needs to change religions of places. That's disease. I want to get this one just to bring it along. Yeah, to kind of get it over here. That religion, obviously, we can change another time. Let's do that. Okay, so we have kind of an idea going here. None of our enemies are just going to bend the knee. Ugh, these fools. None of them ever bend the knee. And apparently Asari just went back under us. Which I guess is nice. 37,000 men, there should be enough just to win this war. We'll bring them all to Volantis. Just bring them all to Volantis. You guys can go over here. I think. I guess we'll just bring all the men up north that can move. There we go. You all come to Volantis as well. Now, we've got a lot of men by sea again. And as you guys know, I usually just delete them just because you got to transport them all. It's just another kind of just annoyance to deal with. And we probably have enough men. We don't have to deal with it too much. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. There we go. Okay, we'll start getting everyone moving. And with the dragons, this war should not go long at all. My rightful claim to the Lordship of Neron Valley. 
the arms and words of my ancestors. Okay. Fine. Some still doubt his legitimacy. It seems like it's okay. Okay, and with that, we're going to end this part here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully, we can finally push on and take over the rest of the Gaskari Empire, um, the people of the Harpy. Then we can maybe go to the Shepherd people, possibly, or Karth. I'll have to decide on that. Or maybe even Sarno. But this is the main thing we kind of work towards. Um, might even try and take the lands down here, possibly. That could be something we could go for. Gogosos is kind of escaped us for a while. Yeah, we probably should try and take over that. That's kind of the lost city, shall we say. But once we take over, you know, new gifts, that means we'll be a bit closer to it. So it kind of makes a bit more sense then. But yeah, I'll see you then. Go Mela, you weak, silly fellow.